This ring has become a source of comfort for 14-year-old Haiyan survivor Nico Milo. It's all he has left of his mother. He lost both his parents and his siblings during the typhoon. I just pray that hopefully they're happy, he says, and that they're watching over me. Nico's grateful he eventually found relatives to take him in. Many others like him haven't. Three months after Typhoon Haiyan and many children are still living in evacuation centers like this one. Almost six million children have been affected by the storm and humanitarian groups have now classified more than 500,000 of them as highly vulnerable. Meaning they've got no guardians left or come from the most severely affected areas where capacity for recovery is poorest. Officials fear such children face the danger of not just being exploited, but of being abandoned by caregivers now needing to look for jobs elsewhere. These children might end up in the street. These children might, might somehow become a, a liability to the community. A reality that, ironically, 14-year-old Cristina Villones escaped thanks to Haiyan. She and four of her siblings now live in a government care facility after social workers found them after the storm. Their parents had abandoned them years before. I am happier now, she says, because there's someone taking care of my siblings. They're getting an education now. So far, only a small number of these most vulnerable survivors have been helped, and there is much still to be done. The rain no longer frightens Milo, and he's hopeful about the future. He feels his family is with him always now, and one day, he says, he just might be happy again. Margo Ortigas, Al Jazeera, Tacloban.